texted this information. So, um, so yes. Did somebody say something? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, if you watched the presentation last Mm -hmm. week from the attorney general, uh, one of the things they said was to make sure when you rent a car, if you use Bluetooth or connect your phone to use the navigation system to be sure to wipe your um, phone's information off that uh, car before you leave, because most people don't think to do that. And the rental car company is not going to do that for you. So, um, and and I was actually talking to our office admin, uh, Jenny Moffat, who actually purchased a rent, a rental car for her new car a couple of years ago. And she found like 15, 20 different phone information in her, in her car when she bought it. So, um, it's something that you, you are giving away contacts addresses all that kind of stuff so if it gets or if you're selling your car yeah 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 Yeah. good so yeah something you didn't have to think about 10 years ago um (laughs) is now one more thing to do so every car is going to be a little bit different uh especially different models are going to be different and brands but i'll show you how to do it on my subaru um and your car you can go and investigate your car and maybe you can send a video of how you do it on yours if you've got a different brand um or google google is always there i'm sure there's youtube videos on all the different car makers of how to do this um but um let me just pull up so if you can see my deck can you guys see my dashboard okay sure Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, sort of. I think it's as good as I can get you. Well, uh, we'll make um, make it be the speaker that you have, and not all the rest of us, and it'll be bigger on the screen. Uh-huh. Speaker view I, versus gallery view. Right. Oh. I wonder if okay. I can pin that. Yeah, that's good. I can see it really well. Um, speaker. Oh, I can pin myself too. Um. Let me pin spotlight for everyone. There you go. Okay. Oh wow. So um so if you look down here, um there's a little profile thing, and then there's like a little gear icon. This is in carplay mode. So if you you've got a Subaru, this might the screen might look familiar too. But there's a little like two phones with a gear model. And if you click that, it shows you all the different devices that have connected to your phone, to your car. So when George's phone, of course, is mine, so I'm not worried about this. Apple device number one, I think that's actually the car salesman guy that I actually worked with uh, who helped me see all the features on my new car. So I don't want him anymore. So um and I don't want Starlink, and I just want to delete that. Oops. So yeah, if I click, oh, how do how do I do that? Can I delete? Huh? Why can't I delete this one? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Because if I delete, oh, that's why. Lynn's an idiot. Ignore me. You have to hit the delete button first. So yeah, hit the delete and then Apple device number one. And then are you sure you want to delete this device? Okay. So then you're good to go. You can close out of that. And when you return here, it's just you. Or hopefully you and your spouse or you and your children. Mm-hmm. Um, things like that. Um mm-hmm. But so you would delete. Does that make your sense own, for everyone? It, you would delete your own device before you got rid of the car. That's yes. Saying? So the way I just deleted the sales guy, right? Cell phone. Mm-hmm. I don't need. I'm going to keep mine because I don't want to have to set it up next time I come right. Right. to my car. 
but um, that's how you would go in for a Subaru car and do it. And but that deletes you, all the information. So that when you delete the, the device, that deletes everything they were using, everything that was yes. on there? Okay. Oh, that's easy. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So it, it's easy for a Subaru. I don't know if that's as easy for all the other devices. What year um, is what year is yours, Lynn? I got mine in February. So this is the brand new model mm -hmm. of Subarus. Okay. We have a Subaru. So. Yeah, if 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 you had asked me this question back in January, I couldn't I couldn't give you a live demonstration because my car was not was, you know, 15 years old and had no none of this connection. Yeah. That's why I'm keeping my old car. It doesn't have anything like that. <laughs> right. So, so yes. And there's probably going to be different ways of doing that, okay. you know, as seems, things, upgrades and things. That's seems helpful. simple enough. Yeah, that's yep. helpful. Yeah. But yeah, so there's probably like a settings button or like a devices button. Um, next time I'm in someone's car, that's a different brand i might just check it out um I a, I but i new, did uh, notice i have a new honda hybrid and um it's more like a standard uh laptop screen there is you know it's all just um squared off and there's a there's one control for settings that you you know uh, buzz down through to get to the, your your phones so it's pretty mm -hmm. it's pretty straightforward because i just had to do it mm -hmm. yeah they make it fairly easy there was an art there was an article that came out a couple places this morning that i saw that said how little privacy car companies in general um have for your things they're selling a lot of your data to fit, uh, to different companies so i'll be forwarding you guys that article um right and it's different different stats and things they're selling um that they're collecting off your cars so um and you can and i i didn't have time this morning to go and look at each model and what all because you know different companies are doing different things um and I didn't have time to investigate, but I was really intrigued when I knew we were going to be talking about this. So, um, very helpful. Thank you. Yep. So, you guys sure. talk some months yourself. I'm going to go in my nice uh, air conditioning car, but I won't make you watch me walk all the way back. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be listening. Uh oh. So, we can't talk about you. <laughs> you can. We'll see if, uh, We'll see if uh, everything connects and things. So if I disappear, it might be because the Wi-Fi got disconnected or something. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a nice portrait of her there. Yeah. Yeah, Still it is. Still shot. Very nice. Good shot. Nice. Yeah. Yes. How are you doing, Chuck? I'm wonderful. How are you? Yeah. You're not missed, back yet. Have you missed me? I have. Yes. But you're when are you coming back? Are, you're not coming. frozen today, Chuck. I'm not. No, I'm not. no it's no, wonderful. It How is. did you do it? What? How did you do it? I bought a new computer. <laughs> yeah. That's do. Probably gonna... <laughs> Looks like a different room. It is. Bev's on the downstairs one, so I got relegated up here to the new... Uh, MacBook Air. Wait. You get home the 15th. Oh, okay. So you're going to miss the big party tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can have my extra food. Okay. Yeah, we're sorry to miss that. Yeah, Gene's still good. working hard. That's why I have to make sure I can get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat yours, too, if you're not there. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You can take a roundabout route. So, Start now in case it takes a while. <laughs> well, that's yeah, I am gonna go early. I think it's not, yeah. So my poor worst case you can then get in line for the food and you know if you're there really early. Then you won't be able to sing. 
<laughs> well, I'm I'm wondering how we're going to sing after Big ZD anyway. But <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Well, that'll be our excuse, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> And that's that's yeah. what, everything I think about Lynn that I said. Oh, here she is. <laughs> oh, don't say anything about her now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You guys will have a good time. Fun. So, other other things you guys like to discuss this morning? They were asking me why you were gone. Why I'm moving today? <laughs> I heard that. You've got a new computer. I got a new Mac Air. It's very exciting. Yes. Congratulations. How do you like I, it? Uh, so far, so good. I need to go. I have to find a Bluetooth mouse now since there's no USBs on them anymore. I mm -hmm. just have the USB-C. Well, you could get a docking station or a hub and use your USB one. Three yeah, USBs, an, an HDMI, a uh, card reader, yeah, two USB Cs, all sorts wow. of stuff. But I plugged my mouse in, and it didn't seem to want to play right. I have a regular mm -hmm. one with the dongle, so. Do you have to pair it again? I it it didn't it didn't seem to want to work right, so. I'm going to go look for a Bluetooth one that won't have to plug in anywhere. It'll just, I mean, I looked mm -hmm. at Staples and they do make them. So Logitech has them and I forget. I like who else. my Logitech mouse. Yeah. That's what this one is. I have several of them. They, they work well and they last a long time. Yeah. But I'm, I'm learning, I'm, I'm practicing more and more using the uh, touchpad, which I've never liked, but uh, I'm I'm using it. I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm that. mouseless. What's that? So, I'm mouseless. Wow. Oh, so I've been using the touchpad for a long time. Well, I can use it. I've used it before, but I'm not a fan of it. You know, I'd rather use a mouse. It's it's easier to move around than. Easier, I for me, it's easier to pinpoint something on the screen, or quicker to pinpoint something on the screen. Yeah, I think it's better for fine work. Yeah. Than the pad. The pad's a little um, rough, I guess. I can't even master the flat keys. <laughs> I need raised keys for the on the keyboard, so I can't type with the flat ones. I think it's time for me to shut it up or <laughs> something. My my desktops, I guess, died too. I don't know. And I got my new um, router all set up and everything, and then um, it. I I thought that the internet. Well, the internet was really really slow over the weekend, and I figured everybody was on it and stuff. And so then it got better on Tuesday, but now my computer just sort of stalls and doesn't want to do anything, and yet my laptop does it so I don't know what the answer with that is um and then I told you it had that that pop-up again now I didn't have that this morning but it didn't let me do much and as if that's not bad enough even on my laptop I tried to go to a restaurant place and click on their menu and I got a pop not a pop-up it actually went the link went to a um a, what do you call it, a gaming um page or something in Spanish and no matter where I clicked on which from which website, you know, like TripAdvisor or whatever, I clicked on menu. That's what I got. So I don't think I hope it's not my my laptop doing that. I think it's probably there. They've got the link. Um, it sounds like it's malware. Yeah, but not on my computer. I hope is it wouldn't it be on theirs that the malware. I mean, so it's all this, yeah. You, you're viewing it on your computer? Yeah, my laptop. Uh, um, when I, like I was on TripAdvisor or whatever, and it says, you know, the name of the restaurant, and then it says menu. Um, and every time I try to click on menu, but um, I got this other thing. And so I just closed out of it. But, you know, I didn't click on anything on it, but that was just kind of weird. I don't know. It's only on that one website? 
No, it's on every website that there's that that one link for menu. Well, not every, I don't know. I finally got to the menu, so I don't know. Could you show us? Um, yeah, let me see though. First, I, well. I think it's that convict trying to communicate with you in Spanish. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Portuguese. <laughs> actually, Portuguese. it may be, actually, you're funny. It maybe was Portuguese because I didn't recognize any of the words as Spanish words. So, you know, although, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's see if I can do it with here. What am I doing? Share. Um, go to, if I go to history, um, 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 um let's see, it was the one I was at. Um, Restaurant um, menu at Bay House? Yeah, that one, this one, that's, um, the one below, yeah. That one may have been the one that worked let me see though if it is oh that is the one that worked <laughs> um so when i went oops history 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 the one before that I gotta move you guys hang on um Um, wasn't Schaefer's, it was this, let's see. Let me try this one. Oh. Okay, now I gotta get you guys over here. Um, okay, so I went, menu in here. Went here. Um, oh, it's not, oh, you're making me hungry. I know, and I can't find the one. Well, actually, okay, you know what else I did where it said, I know what I did. Um, it says website. Mm -hmm. There's there's what the website, there's what it goes to. They have yeah, a bad that, link. They have a bad yeah. link. Okay. So who they it's their fault, right? It's it's Yelp. Yes, that's Yelp. Yeah. Well, whichever one it is, but I went to another one. I went to what I went to TripAdvisor and I went to Yelp and someplace else. I don't know. Finally I went to the one that um I don't have Facebook, the 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 one that some that one the first one I clicked on, I did get to the menu then finally. So yeah, that looks like it's the real website for the actual company well, it versus actually, a third party. Yeah, except it isn't really um, because it's called it's under Restaurant Guru, um, and it's they didn't have a they only had a Facebook page. They didn't have a real. Um, if you can see, there's none of them there that have a mm -hmm. real whatever. Hole in the wall is a great place, by the way, if you haven't ever been there. Mm -mm. <laughs> Downstairs of the Baird House in Chesapeake City, it's literally a hole in the wall. It's a really cute, um, uh, revolutionary era restaurant um, bar. All right. Well, thank you. Um, this see this. Thing, I'm going to have to be using my laptop more and more because, like I say, my desktop thing doesn't seem to be working right at all. Mm -hmm. I can't show you that obviously because. See, what am I going to get rid of? How am I going to get out of here? Stop share is a good way to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. So I wonder if they, the restaurant probably doesn't even know that's the, the, the link is wrong, right? It's the trip advisor or whatever. Looks like it, yeah. And I, I don't know if there's a way to report that to them either. I don't care. <laughs> 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 Well, I, I, you know what else? Here's what else happened. I tried to get a gift certificate for Schaefer's house, Schaefer house, Schaefer's canal house. And I get all the way through, you know, ordering it and put it in my um, cart and then go to pay for it. And I say new credit card and I click on it and it brings up my name with someone else's credit card and somebody in Kansas. 
and it won't let me put in a new one. I was tempted to just say, okay, and see if they paid for it. Well, except the expiration date was like 224. So it couldn't even still be, oh, 224. It hasn't, it was 24. 2014? No, it was 224. That's, that hasn't come yet. <laughs> mine is like two. Well, mine is like 227. So um, the, anyway. the Giordano family should do better. They've been in the restaurant business. Oh, listen, they are fantastic. You should have seen over Labor Day weekend, Schaefer's house. It, I mean, there must have been eight, eight or 900 people there. And it was totally well managed. And Great. you could find a place that you weren't like over. It was just, it was wonderful. It was they just, got rid of their place in Kennet. They did? Yeah. Oh, that's new management now? It's a chain that bought it. Because I got a free, free come get a free appetizer or something there. I didn't realize it was new. I think they'll, they'll still, uh, you know, accept that. Well, no, I think that's probably from the new people. It did say newly remodeled and everything. but Oh, yeah. It's it's the new people that have done all that. And Schaefer's are strictly now, or Schaefer's, Giordano's are strictly uh, down on the canal now. Now, do you know him? I know, I know the family. My wife knows them better than I do. Um, because I wondered if, if I want, there was a, there's a guy there that was like, seemed like he was in charge sort of that was helping out with trays and stuff like that. I've seen him there a couple of times and I just wondered if that was him. Um, cause mm -hmm. you know, like it's clearly he's not a waiter or, but he's just really helping out wherever he can. Well, it um, really is a family operation. Okay. But well, I always love going down there for the steel band. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have do you are you familiar with the Chris Sachs band? No. They're a really great band and they have a steel drum in it that's cool. They also have copper saxophones. I've never seen a copper saxophone until there. Huh. But anyway, um yeah, no, Schaefer's gets a high vote. That's why I was trying to get a gift certificate. <laughs> sure. I mean that's that's always where we uh stop for stuff dinner, lunch, snacks, coming back from the bay. Where do you go on the bay? Well, I was I had a boat down on the Bohemia River. Okay. And I used to crew on a boat that was on the Sassafras. Okay. Yeah, yeah you think you told me that. But, um, yeah. No, it's not. Well, the fish whistle at the granary now is nice, too. They're good. I don't know if you've been there. Have they ever opened, reopened Kitty Nighthouse? Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah, it's still there. I we're not thrilled with it. <laughs> yeah, got a great story. Yeah, yeah. Well, now that we're all hungry, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry. I have an email to show you guys, and 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 you you can uh, test yourself as whether you think it's scam or not. Okay. Oh, I love a good challenge. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> Actually, this came in twice today. What allow Zoom to share your screen? Open system preferences. Oh, geez. Excuse me. <laughs> New computers. New challenges. New new security issues. Now I have to quit and reopen. So I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chuck is gone. <laughs> Any other things we want to? talk about or if i buy a new desktop it's going to have to have windows 11 on it right and that means i need to i will have to upgrade the laptop to it too no your laptop does not have to upgrade but oh, if you okay. want to make it easier for yourself and use figure out you know use the same operating system you could upgrade your laptop too well but i wouldn't have to do it instantly so i could get used to the 11 on the other one and then do it okay that's good yep i didn't i didn't think there was much learning curve mm -hmm. going to 11 yeah but you're smarter than me <laughs> not that's necessarily not that's not true all right can you see my desktop now mm -hmm. see oh. something yeah here it is. Oh, your Wells Fargo? I don't have an account at Wells Fargo, first I of all. That. No, it's garbage. Well, that scares me because I just opened a new account at Wells Fargo. 
um what's the the email address from them yeah. can you click on that email your yeah um the one above it no the 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 one that says oh maybe no reply this to. one yeah okay i was thinking that was yeah so you said you got search at the same time hmm? search attack yeah the the two emails you got back to back are they the same you are yeah they're the they're both uh, they both came in yesterday right here they're mm -hmm. both identical hmm. like the bottom one it says i'm grateful we and then we value your patronage yeah well i like this one too because it goes from big big the big font letters to yeah font. Font. <laughs> <laughs> yep yep yeah th this these are I get things from Wells Fargo like this all the time, but I don't have accounts there. So I, I know right off that it's phishing or scam, mm -hmm. spam. Well, and, and there's no logo of theirs either. It just says their name and the just the red banner, which is yeah. somewhat typical, but yeah, they don't have their uh, carriage on it. Yeah. I also love that the, there's a verification required from you. But then it says that there's nothing you have to do really. Yeah. <laughs> to reactivate your access, go to login. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Don't touch it. Don't and wait. I'm grateful Stay as on. a URL. So I don't know. To what? That one's going to like Xfinity.com. Wow. That's odd. Hmm. Where's that one go? This one's going to short oh, yeah. real. Short URL. That's a short URL. That's like a gi yeah. Ghibli. <laughs> yeah, they, these are fun. I the, I get these frequently, and they just I normally just delete them, but it it came in timely, so I thought, well, I'll I'll share these with the group so they can uh, be aware. I always enjoy that. So thank yeah, you. Wells Fargo's always trying to do something, you know. Yeah, here's mm -hmm. the other one. It's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. well, do you think this is Wells Fargo? Right. No. 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 I think so. no. Lock. <laughs> Sam. But it says that my account statement is available, though, too. So. Oh, so it's a different subject. Yeah. No, they're but both. They both. Yeah, no, they were both. Thing. The other one said account statement available too, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, and they both went to this. No, one went to email. my one. Well, one went to each of my emails. Okay, mm -hmm. that's why you got two, probably. Yeah. So they got your number. Yeah. I wonder where they got your email. Fascinating. But you have no Wells Fargo account. I have no Wells. I've never had a Wells Fargo account. So. And, and why is this? Why is required capitalized, you know? Yeah, get rid right. of it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, and and the, yeah, I, yeah, it makes no sense. It, the Grammatically, it's just so messed up. Well, that, that's the other reason that pops in my, up here in my, in my uh, challenges, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, now go away. Oh, stop. Gone. Gone. Okay. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I normally do with stuff like that. But I figured this was so timely, I'd share it with you guys today. I always love seeing a good spam email. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't go. It didn't arrive in your spam, though, right? No, it just went into my account. Okay. Yeah, sometimes they get through the filters. I had one like that from Norton yesterday, and I haven't yeah. had a Norton account for years. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get I get those once in a while too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, not surprising. But yeah, other things you guys want to discuss? Okay, if my computer, my desktop is getting 
something hacked or something like that. Is my um, my backup drive then getting washed out too? I mean, is it, it's, it's going to be starting. It's backing up with the malware on it. Ugh. So it's one of those, this, as soon as I realize there's malware on the computer, I wipe the computer and restore from our backup. Um, before it was, I noticed the malware. Yeah, but see, I wouldn't know when on earth to do that from, but. But if you don't know how long it's been since you got it, and it's been a couple weeks, then you're you're going to lose files and things. So there's not a good way. And if you're backing up on that file with the malware, maybe it's getting corrupted on the hard drive itself. Okay, it's time for me to just go in a room and. <laughs> I'm sorry. We keep giving you bad news. Put me on a sailboat and send me out to sea. <laughs> Amen. Just get a new computer and I'll solve the problem. I go for yeah, that. But, but I'll need to transfer stuff from the old one. Mm -hmm. So nah, yeah. just it's, leave it go. Well, you, you know, any, you know uh, that's funny because I've got a ton of stuff on an old um one of those I forget what those drives were called that the little ones, not the floppies, but the um the, CDs. Um, hey, anyway, huh? eight millimeter no 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 it's a oh i forget what it, it was it was like a floppy only fat disc that, yeah like no not even that big about this big and then, then i had to get a, a drive for it for because one the next computer didn't even have it and i had a drive well i've never even looked at those or tried to look at those and i don't even well in fact i couldn't probably even look at them now so yeah so what if you don't know where to find it or can't find it why do you need it anyway? So I guess I could get rid of everything. Although there are some things I wouldn't want to get rid of that would be disastrous. But well, from an copy them over to an external hard drive and then trash everything. Yeah. But, yeah. but from an operational standpoint, I find myself with the hard, the external hard drive, the backup drive, always plugged in, and I shouldn't do that. I think. If it's always plugged in, you run the risk of the virus getting out on the hard drive. And um, then you have to discipline yourself to plug it in, do a backup, and then unplug it again. Ugh. So, but could a, could a really, really smart person look at the files and get the, get the hacked files out? Or the so... Actually, what I would do if I were you is, I don't know where you plan on buying your next desktop, whether it's Best Buy or something, but to have either, you know, the Genius Bar or having, um, you know, the local computer stores look at it and say, here's the issue. I've got malware on this computer. I don't know how long it's been there, but I want these files you know can you help me clean yeah. it up and you know here's the new computer and move it over yeah i'm not i, I probably will destroy the whole thing before i get around to doing that though but my well my actually my son-in-law um like this has maybe been five or six years ago went through every single file on their computer they didn't even have a a, a virus protection or anything on it and so when they got um some kind of malware he and it took him days and days and days, but he just went through each one and he could tell which ones he had to get rid of. I don't think he'd do that for me though. <laughs> and he got it. Oh, he got it pretty he's sick. an IT person, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He's so he knows developer. he knows more than I do. Well, right. He's a software developer. So um, you know, he he could do it. And that was his reason for not getting any kind of um malware uh stuff on it. But I don't know if they probably have since then, because that took, I mean, it took days and days and days. And of course, they couldn't use their computer while he was doing that. And it was like, <laughs> Tell him that's what you want for Christmas. <laughs> to do it. Yeah. Well, and, and actually, I probably will have him come over and see if he can look at my stuff. Although sometimes he's a little quick draw, too quick draw for me. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> it was like, never. So, yeah. Bob, you've got a, something to say? Yes, I wanted to see if my little hand would work. It does. It, it does. Uh, my desktop at home has been disconnected since end of May. 
when I go back and plug it in, am I going to face any issues or will it just start up? Or is it going to say, where have you been? Or... <laughs> be like... It might ask that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, my, my guess is they'll, it will start up all fine and happy for you, but it will have software updates that it will want you to do. So <laughs> I would prepare for, you know, 15, 20 minutes of it loading software updates on it. Okay. Or when you restart or when you shut the computer down for the first time, it, it might do updates then. Okay. So I probably should turn it on and then shortly turn it, go to turn it off and just let it do its thing. Mm -hmm. You've got automatic updates on it would do it automatically for you. Yeah. Okay. There was a Zoom update this morning that I ran into. Oh, was there? Mm hmm But they I don't keep adding stuff. I know. Every week seems to be a new update. Good problems. But yes, update, update, update. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chuck, you can, if you want, share with my fellow bases that I'll be back in two weeks. Okay. Next Thursday, next Thursday we'll be traveling. And I'll tell them to put some ziti in the free in the freezer for you, <laughs> so you can have a, a late snack. There you go. I'm sure there'll be plenty left over. So that's what it is, ziti, huh? That's yeah. that's what the email said. I'm assuming we're not we're not I having any of that at my choir rehearsal tonight. Well, that's your problem, not You're ours. You're in the wrong choir. Wait a minute, yeah. Aaron Lee. <laughs> when did you get an email that said ZD? Because I didn't get an email that said ZD. A couple it days came ago. From, uh, Ed. It came Recently? from Ed McFalls. What, today? No, oh. no, a week, uh, like last week. Oh, I got it was before, before the one we got from Tim. I thought oh. it was after the one. Well, no, I don't... it came in before. Let me check. I don't remember ZD, but. Anyway, do you say anything else besides ziti? Uh, Caesar salad, uh, cake. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Surely, in a couple hours, you could be there. I could. You have to stay for rehearsal, though. I was going to say that I can rehearse with you guys tonight. Well, and you have a place to sleep overnight, too, right? That's so. true. I don't know where that would be. <laughs> Oh, where Brotherly is Brotherly love. I feel it. Oh, there's the letter from Tim. Yeah, I got that one. And I printed it. Uh, actually, my computer didn't want to print that out either. I was trying to tell mm -hmm. you. know, I guess the Attorney General is saying it is. Yeah, I would think it would be. Uh, uh, that's why I don't want a new car. <laughs> In fact, and, when I... Um, oh, go ahead. Well, when I had to do an uh, a update, you know, a recall update, I complained to my mechanic. I said, they're just doing that so now they can track me because my car didn't have a, a tracker in it. And then now they can track me. And he says, yeah, that's right. I said, really? He says, no, they're not. And he says, you bring it back to me. I'll check it when you after we after you have the update, the um, recall fixed. But mm -hmm. so I guess I guess it's not. But, you know, they could. That could be what they're doing, too. Mm hmm. Well, and I'll send you guys the article about the privacy settings and things with the different car manufacturers. But they said Tesla was the worst. That was one thing that I that popped out when I was reading the article before I got sidetracked into other work. Well, it was years ago before all this happened that they were saying like if you signed up for something, you know, like so that they could they could see if you're taking stop if you're running stop signs or what you're um, speed is, and if you were good, you'd get a cheaper insurance. I haven't heard them yeah. ever doing that much, but but obviously there they can be checking you. They they've got all mm -hmm. your information. That just scared the heck out of me. Mm -hmm. State Farm does that. I know my brother has that discount set up. Yeah, oh. that's well, that's what worries me. Mine probably is, even though I didn't authorize it. And so mm -hmm. they're not getting a discount, but they're still watching me. <laughs> well, it depends on what your 
provider is. I know State Farm sends you a beaker and you have to put the beaker in the car. Okay. I don't have the beaker. I have I do have state. And farm. then you have to like enter your odometer rating and stuff every couple months. Um see that's just to get the discount. I mean, I don't even want to be seen when I'm in the chapel for, for, for chapel time. Why would I want them to see what I'm doing in my car? Mm -hmm. Or you're the one that puts the bag over your head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering how that is. Now we'll know. No, I sit on the camera side of the room. We know. And then they, hey. tried, they tried to pull one on me by panning with the camera the other week fortunately i wasn't there so they didn't get me <laughs> what's the temperature there now hot 90 something i think 72 here oh i, I miss that lake breeze <laughs> i can smell it next year next year oh 86 oh but the but it's a hundred and two index early today. It's going well, to be. What, it feels like ninety two right now. No. Yeah. Well, get rid of it before next week. <laughs> yeah, now we'll keep much. it around for you so you can enjoy it with us. Uh, it looks like it's going to be in the seventies next week, as long as yeah, you know. It cools off considerably up, next week. How yeah. about in Chambersburg? What's it out there now? It's been hot here the last couple of days. Heat index is well over a hundred. <laughs> um, today's the last day that we're to be in the 90s and then it cools off into the 80s for a couple of days and we're, we're to be in the 70s next week as well. Looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. want to be outside again. I hate being cooped up in the AC. I know. Mm -hmm. Boy, it hits you in the face when you walk outside. Yeah. It sure does. <laughs>